God gives us great joy in being able to help others. These men and women have suffered. They have been wounded, defending the freedom of our country, our way of life. These are the warriors who have been on the front line, and we owe them a great debt. Operation Hill Our Patriots is a program, Samaritan's Purse. It's a marriage retreat that focuses on trying to strengthen the marriages of these military families. No cell phone service is helping everything. <laughs> it's opening up communication. We're talking a lot more. The military couples deal with stuff that other couples don't, like PTSD, why we come home and we're so quick to anger or you know we live our life a certain way now and hear what other couples are going through and maybe see it coming in your marriage and redirect so you can avoid it or learn from maybe other people's mistakes as they learn from yours. We're gonna talk about uh, an aspect of that versatility and that is communication. They put a mirror in front of me and I noticed things that I needed to deal with but I didn't want to confront it. Well, I found that, I found that here. Our personalities love languages. Our communication. Communication, important. Uh, so important, communication. I, 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 I got that one, that one hit home. It doesn't matter where you are when you walk with God. We all need to stop, reflect, analyze, and apply whatever you learn in order for things to work. We want to lift up Jesus Christ in these marriages. We want to lift up Jesus Christ in this community. Together in the presence of God Almighty to witness the renewing of marriage vows. And every week we see couples not only recommit their marriages and recommit their vows, but we see every week couples that, that put their faith and trust in Christ and receive Him for the first time right here. We have struggled. I mean, there was a lot of times where it was um, just didn't feel like we were going to make it. This place has a way of like softening your heart. There was a lot in Afghanistan, more than just war, that affected me. I'm sure when I came home, she expected a family and she expected a, a husband and a father. and. I couldn't provide those things because of the place that I was in. I didn't love myself. I didn't feel like I was enough for anyone, for me, for her, for the kids, for my family, whatever you want to say. But when I came here and they explained to me that Jesus died for my sins and for me to go to heaven, to be with God, how could I ever feel like I'm not enough? The moment I was saved, I felt that love for the first time in a long time. We're learning to love each other now and learning to love God and learning to love ourselves and bringing that all together to create something very special. We're really all still fighting the same fight. So it's nice to be around people that you can completely relate to on the hard stuff, the stuff that you don't want to tell people. You build a support system so that when you leave, you're not alone. I mean, you can't go in the air and not believe that there is something bigger and greater. The hope and the salvation that Christ brings can save any marriage. Stand that it's not ever too late and it's not ever too far gone. Because if it can save ours, it can save any marriage.